Hi everyone. So let's say you want to create a table in your HTML web page. Okay. So this table that you are seeing in this presentation, it is a simple table. You just need to specify number of rows and number of columns. Okay. And this is a simple table. Okay. Structured. Now let's see this one. Okay. So your task is to create this kind of table. Okay. So how to create this non-structured, I cannot say non-structured, actually it is structured, okay, but uh, no, it is not normal. So I want to create this kind of table. So first of all, let's see what kind of HTML tag you need to use in your HTML. Okay, so first one obviously table tag, TR tag, that means table row, which is used to create, to define row in your table. Okay, for example, uh, let's say over here. Okay, uh, let me ask you one question. How many number of rows are present in this table? Can you answer me? Okay, let me tell you. Okay, one, two, and three. Is it so? No, okay. So, total number of rows over here in this table is four, okay. You just need to find maximum number of rows present in this table. So, over here you can see this is actually it seems two, but it is not, okay. So, total number of rows over here is uh, this B, okay. After this is second one. So, one, two, three, and four. Total number of rows are four, okay. Now, this one is TD tag, okay, table data. So, table data, that means this column, it is referring to this column, okay. So, for example, this is first row and in which, uh, how many columns are there, okay. So, this is first, this is second, third, fourth and fifth. So, total, there are five TD tags, okay, TD, that means each specify column. Okay, next there is th that means table header. In many tables, you have seen a uh, uh, name of column field is mentioned, okay, with some different styling so that you can identify okay, this data is name, this column is for surname, this data is for cell phone number, like that. Okay, so this is HTML tag. Now let's see attributes, okay. So uh, when you want to create this kind of table, so you uh, primarily you require this row span and call span okay and for designing purpose you may require border attribute okay and many more so now let's create this table okay first of all This is my HTML. Okay, I am using Notepad++ as my editor. You can you can use what you are whatever you are comfortable with. Okay, so this is my HTML. After that, here it comes head. Okay, you can watch my previous video of. Uh, basic of HTML to understand this other tag after that it's body different disadvantage of using this not but a plus plus is just that you are not getting suggestions or uh, auto completion okay don't worry we don't don't even require that okay so first of all let me put one h1 tag over here and okay this is table in html okay After that, let me add this table tag because I want to create a table and it is in pair. Okay, so you need to open it and you need to close this table. So let me close this. 
now inside this table okay so table get uh, you need to create uh, for to create a table you need to first of all add this tag in pair okay so opening and closing now whatever uh, of whatever style you want to create a table it should be in within this table tag only okay just like i want to create a html page then it should be in this html tag okay just like that so first of all you need to specify how many number of rows are there in your table okay so let me just see over here so you can see over here how many number of rows are present so if you you take this one this so one two and three but it is not actual number because over here you can see this is one two three and four total number of four rows are present over here okay and why you are uh, seeing just like uh, this kind of because this particular column is spanned spanned that means to spread okay so to spread wide whether it is in horizontal or vertical okay so this cell is spread uh, this cell is uh, spread it vertically okay vertically that means row wise okay you just need to Uh, listen carefully so okay first of all what uh, what are the number of rows over here four so i need to add table row and okay table row but i need to complete this okay so this is first row this is my first row and if i if i also can tag th that means table header okay and let me complete this table header and i am just copy pasting this okay let's say this is labeled as name surname and let's say it's uh, cell number okay i am just saving this and run not firefox chrome okay you can see this is name surname and cell number and this is my h1 tag uh, this is header of table now if uh, okay now let me put second row over here tr tr complete okay so this is my second row and over here i am using this td e td control c and i am just okay that's it so this is just a normal table you can see name is this surname is this and cell number is this now if i want to put uh, borders kind of something okay so i can give it let's say one pixel okay so this is normal table that we have seen uh, initially in my presentation but i want to create this kind of table okay so let's start again how many numbers of are there in this table is there any header no there are no header okay it is just a uh, normal table now total number of rows over here are four okay you can see 1 2 3 and 4 so i am just copy pasting okay so this is sec first second third fourth okay total number of four so first second third and fourth so total four rows are created now the question is how many columns are there in each row okay so over here i need to use this td tag okay td tag complete okay now first of all see over here this is your first 
first column first cell in your first row okay but if you uh, if you watch it carefully it is it is not like a simple cell okay it is spreaded it this cell is spreaded vertically so vertically that means it is row span okay so over here we are using this attribute row span spanning according to row over here the uh, spanning of this particular cell is in terms of row okay so how many in how many rows this cell is spreaded so you can see clearly this is first row this is second row so total two row spanning okay so this is my td tag but i will specify this attribute row span is equals to 2 okay and let me put a over here because this is my data now whatever your data is you need to put in this td tag okay opening and closing in between so let's say this okay now after that after that what is this this is uh, it is normal cell okay and you have written over here just simple b so i don't need to okay this is my b after that okay over here now it's come turn off d so this cell if you um, if you observe it so it this particular cell is spreaded over row uh, over three rows okay so the first second and third and it is spreaded over row wise vertically okay so you you will specify okay let me just copy pasting this row span is equals to 3 and what is your data d okay after that after that here it comes e now uh, okay observe over here this particular cell is spreaded over horizontally okay horizontally that means column wise okay so you have to use calls call span attribute over here it is not a row wise you can see it is spreaded but vertically uh, sorry horizontally okay so horizontally that means it is spreaded over column wise so you need to use call span over here so again okay now i am using space calls span okay and how many uh, in how many columns it is spreaded it is in two so this is your first and this is your second okay so let me give two and over here data is e okay that's it and after that this is normal cell okay with call span and roll span equal to one so you don't need to specify that okay so it's very simple just like cell b and what is value that is f okay and i am over here let me put one a line is equals to text so, oh, a line is equals to center sorry okay now i am just so uh, over here it is there but we have not included anything in uh, second row third row okay so over here let it be and uh, just do add columns in this second row okay so first row that we have taken okay now here it comes our second row but this particular cell it is included in first row so we don't need to add this again okay it is already included now here it comes turn off c okay which is normal so it is just like this one and here it is c after that d which is already included in first row so we just ignore it and after that here it comes g okay um is it uh, already covered in previous row no okay so we need to create it in this particular row and you can see this particular cell is spreaded over row wise so we need to use row span so again 
td tag td complete okay and i need to use row span is equals to in how many rows it is spreaded okay two and what is the data that is g okay after that h which is which is of same okay it is also of row span equals to two and this is i which is also no it is uh, okay it is also of two row span so i am just copy pasting this again two times okay and g h i so this one is h and this one is i okay so this is our second row okay which is created after that this one is my third row and you can see over here this is my third row and the first element is first cell is of j and you can see it is spreaded over column wise in how many columns so it, uh, you can see this is first column this is second column two columns okay so you need to use call span attribute so let me td td complete okay and i need to use call span attribute is equals to 2 and what is value that is j okay after that after that here it comes part of d which is already covered after that here it comes g which is already covered in previous row second row and this is covered in first row this row already covered this already covered so you oh, over here just a single td tag will cover in this row after that okay this is last row okay k l m so in last row you can see this cell is spreaded over column wise and in how many columns first second and third so total three columns so i am just copy pasting this okay in three column and what is value of value is k okay after that here it comes l which is a single uh, that, that means nothing is spanned okay it is just a normal cell so i am just copy pasting this code and it's our l after that m which is require call spans with two with value of two okay so td td complete and inside this set attribute like a call span is equals to two is equals to two and what is value m save this and refresh this page okay i need to specify height and width of this table okay let's say width is equals to 250 and height is equals to 150 save okay still it's not enough Height is okay. Now you just compare this both the table. Okay, this one and this one, they both are of similar structure. Okay, now what I need to add is just a simple styling. Okay, so let me add style over here mm, inside this okay i am just using this style attribute okay and i am table okay let's say border is equals to one pixel solid green okay 
and let me put it off three so here it is okay I want this H1 to be in center so text align is equals to center okay and over here also I want this text align to be in center save and refresh this page so here you go you got this table okay okay if you want to compare similar this is your table that you wanted to create okay so that's it so this is all about table in HTML I hope you enjoyed this video and keep smiling bye bye